So, chat, for those who don't know, uh, there was a new article that came out, um, and it's kind of important, especially if you're on console, or used to be on console. It's the cross-progression is coming to Overwatch 2 account merge. So, this also applies to if you are a console player who redeemed the or uh, gifted subs during the Briggs gifted event. Um, it wasn't available to console right away. But when Overwatch 2 releases and your account merges, um, then you will have the Briggs skin. So, let's cover it. Uh, with the launch of cross-progression, players can manage multiple Overwatch accounts to carry progression and in-game cosmetics to Overwatch 2 in a single profile. So this basically means if you had a console account and then you went to PC, uh, it'll carry on over. But it also, I think, works in reverse, where if you're a PC player and want to go play on console, you can still play on the same account and be good to go. Starting on August 16th, every player will link with a linked console account will be prompted to log in to identify, select, and confirm the accounts that you want to merge. Once you approve, we will prepare your accounts to be merged during the release of Overwatch 2. All players will need a Battle.net battle .net account to play Overwatch 2, regardless of platform. So if you're a console only Andy and you never enabled cross-platform uh, cross play, because you needed to have a Battle.net account to do that, if you haven't done that, you will need a Battle.net account to play Overwatch 2, period. Progress from linked to console accounts will be stored in your Battle.net account, which will share in-game cosmetics and pro uh, progression crossed across the linked accounts. We've anticipated some of your questions and are here to provide some answers in the upcoming account merge Overwatch 2. All right, what do you got? How do I link my console account to Battle.net? Okay, so you log into Overwatch from your console account, follow the on-screen prompts to scan a QR code on your mobile phone. Okay. Enter the code displayed on the console to connect or to create your Battle.net account. All right, so is there anybody that's console here that can, can confirm that this is how this works? If you've not verified your mobile phone number before, you'll be prompted to do so through SMS authentication. Once complete, you'll be prompted to confirm your account upon the next game login to your... Oh, this might... Wait, is this ready now or is it only when Overwatch 2 comes out? I'm on console and I had to do this before the beta. Interesting. Okay. Uh, once you merge a console account with a Battle.net account, you'll be unable to link a different, wait, you'll be unable to link a different console account on the same platform. Double check to make sure you are linking the correct account to your battle.net account. If you encounter errors linking your account, okay, go here, okay. Which platforms are included on the account merge? Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Can I link multiple accounts on the same platform? Only one account per platform can be linked together. For example, if you have two accounts on PC, you will not be able to merge those accounts. So if you have two PC accounts, you cannot merge them. The same goes for multiple accounts on Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch. Uh, so one PC account and one console account only. You can have two, you have one of each, one of each. So you have a total of two, I would assume, but you might need two phone numbers at that point. Can I change or modify the console account already associated with my Battle.net account before merging accounts? Fire. I'm going to pause these alerts. Love you content, Flats. Keep it up. Thanks for the two or five months. Appreciate it. Um, yes, it is incredibly important to take care of the uh, correct amount from each console you plan to link. It is associated with your Battle.net account. The account merge in screen in-game will show all accounts associated. You can link, click on Switch Accounts, which will prompt you to scan a... QR code from your mobile phone so you can visit. Okay, what? Um, once you confirm the account merge, you'll be unable to immediately link a new console account to that battle.net account. Progress will be stored on the battle.net account you merge with, so you can't carry over progress from that console account to a, an additional battle.net account. This sounds like a way so you can't just like have one person who's sharing with a like console account that's sharing with a bunch of people. Uh, that's what kind of what it sounds like, but that's. I think that could have been worded maybe a little bit better. Why do I need to merge my accounts for Overwatch 2? All players will need... Okay, so we already answered that question. Uh, and this will... This includes players who link their accounts during the Overwatch crossplay release. Oh, okay, so you still need to do it even if you have crossplay? Okay, interesting. Uh, what happens to my console account after I merge? Uh, all progression on those console accounts will be stored on the battle.net. Okay. Can I change which accounts are linked together after merging is complete? 
You can unlink your console account from Battle.net account anytime. However, there is a one-year cooldown for linking new accounts to your Battle.net account. What? A one-year cooldown. When you link a new console account to your Battle.net account, it can access the progression and in in-game items from the Battle.net account. However, the new console account will not transfer its progress and in in-game items to the linked Battle account. Whoa. You link a new console? Okay, so I think this sounds like after you've already done it. So... So if you link in a console account, boom, to your account, and then you disconnect it, and then a year later, you connect a new account, the new console, your, like, let's say you had a console account that had, like, Pink Mercy and, like, a bunch of, like, exclusive skins, and you tried to link it to that account, those console skins would not carry over. That's what it sounds like. It's so, like, you can't probably, like, you know, you can get all these old skins that you shouldn't have. That's what it sounds like. What happens if I don't merge my console account to a Battle.net account? Players from all platforms will need a Battle.net account to play on a Rutch 2. For console players, account merge is also the only way to access and carry over progress into Overwatch 2. For PC players, progress will automatically carry over into Overwatch 2, and you have the option to merge any console account to your Battle.net account. So if you're PC, you're good to go. You're fine. Uh, if you don't confirm your account to merge in-game, you will continue to be served an in-game screen that identifies your accounts and prompts approval to merge. You can check. Okay. So basically, you have to do this if you're console. Uh, how will my in-game items be merged? All items in the hero gallery across platforms will be present in the merged Battle.net account. This includes all sprays, emotes, skins, and everything else in the current hero gallery tab in-game. Duplicate cosmetics across platforms will be merged into a single Battle.net account. Cool. How will my skill rating from multiple accounts be merged into it? Great question. Competitive and skill rating will be separate by PC and console input pools. The highest rank will be taken if the player merges multiple console accounts. So, if you have a PC account and you have a console account and you link them together... It shows they are separate. The second part sounds like if you merge multiple console accounts. So, like, you merge an account, then you get rid of it, and then a year later you add a new account, it will show whatever the highest rank was for that console account. But they're separate. So, your PC rank and your console rate will be determined and shown separately, which is important. How will my statistics be merged? Gameplay statistics are separated by input pool. A few things that happen to players who merge multiple console accounts. Total values like playtime or number of wins will be summed. Best values like hero accuracy or kill streaks will take the highest value from the merged accounts. So it sounds like if you have console and PC and you merge the accounts, they're trying to give you the the most they can. So the wins and stuff is merged, but accuracy and stuff, it'll take the highest one. So whatever platform you played better on. How will my endorsements be merged? Your highest endorsement will carry over to a merged account. Really? Who the fuck cares, dude? Like, I hate to say it, but this was the biggest failed system. If this isn't reworked into something different in Overwatch 2, God, I don't even know what to tell you guys. How will my achievements be merged? Move merged. All in-game achievements earned across each platform will be present in the merged Battle.net account. Console-specific achievements will remain on their respective platforms. Interesting. Interesting. How will my gameplay settings be merged? Gameplay settings are kept per platform and will be kept when they merge. Gameplay settings across consoles will keep separate from PC gameplay settings. Okay, cool. How will my custom game options be merged? The custom game option is a separate account that will be present the custom game option in each account will be present in the merged Battle.net account. One more time. The custom game options in each account will be present in the merged Battle.net account. So it sounds like you'll have a PC in a console um, custom game option. How will my links to the recent custom slash workshop games be managed? You will keep your most recent links across all platforms up to the maximum list. How will my Overwatch credits be merged? Overwatch credits will be summed after merging accounts. Oh, it's it's GG for half. Dude, I have so much shit. 
Actually, fuck. If it's... I've, they're not going to give you extra for duplicates. I don't know how much I have on console. I'm going to have to go back and look at my console account. How will Overwatch League tokens be merged? Overwatch League tokens across accounts will be summed up after merging. If you don't merge your accounts, Overwatch League tokens from console accounts will not transfer into Overwatch 2. Overwatch League tokens purchased on Nintendo Switch will not be merged and will remain on that platform. Yikes. Oh, man. Poor Switch. So you need to do this before Overwatch 2 comes out or you will lose the tokens. So... This is probably the most pressing if you're just someone who puts things off all the time. Everything else you can do up until the date of Overwatch 2, no problem. But this one, uh, this one sounds like it's going to be the tough one. So you better, if you're going to merge, definitely merge so before, sooner rather than later. Um... So yeah, so that's like the whole way to go through it. You can go to the link on your own. Uh, but sounds like it's... At least it gets an option to get old accounts put together. And uh, I guess this kind of shows you how much closer we're getting to Overwatch 2. So. Good stuff.